Kendall Sheffield took a more circuitous route to college football's biggest stage than we anticipated when he was a Rivals 100 prospect, number 53, in the 2015 class. But here in his final season with the Ohio State Buckeyes, he's finally arrived at that level. Sheffield was a guy that initially signed with Alabama coming out of Texas in uh, the 2015 class. Redshirted that first year, didn't see the field, ended up at Blinn Community College where uh, Cam Newton had, had once played and then signed with Ohio State as a JUCO transfer in that 2017 class. Now in his second year with the Buckeyes, a guy that, uh, you know, is starting to realize that talent. He was also a 6.0 rivals rated prospect coming out of the junior college ranks, number three nationally in the Ju- JUCO standings that year. Sheffield's always been known. I got a chance to see him. I mean, that was the very first thing when I, I saw him as a sophomore at the U.S. Army All-American Combine. He is a blazer. He is a kid that has a lot of speed. Um, he's a two-sport star. He's is a guy that, you know, even in high school, when he was looking at which college to go to, also considered the track program. And he is one of, if not the fastest defensive backs in the country. The, the concern is is, you know, maybe his toughness maybe his ability to you know be physical and it's not that he can't make an open field tackle he'll step up put his nose in there but I think being you know getting his hands on receivers at the line of scrimmage and then fighting for you know contested balls down the field he's a guy that's his speed his fluidity is always going to put him in the hip pocket of a wide receiver but whether he's going to be able to make the play overpower he's had trouble with those bigger wide receivers I think that's going to be the question as he looks to become the seventh first round defensive back taken out of Ohio State's uh, in the last six NFL drafts